Welcome back, FM Talk 106.5 and Mobile Mornings. Uh, pleasure once again to welcome Brian Comer back into studio with us. He's with the uh, local injury law firm Tobias McCormick and Comer. Brian, thanks for joining us again today. Thanks for having me, Dalton. Always a pleasure. So uh, we're here. We made it. We're in holiday season 2021. It's been a, a long year for a lot of folks and, uh, of course, a joyous time of year for many um, but it can also be a a really dangerous time of year Uh, lots of people traveling uh, traveling to see family or have family traveling to see them and uh, I know you at Tobias McCormick and Comer are interested in getting people where they're going safely absolutely and you know the the holidays like you said are a, a joyous time but unfortunately they're also a very stressful time you know, more traffic uh, on the road. There's always, it seems like, way more things to do mm-hmm. uh, in a day than hours to do them in. Uh, and it always just seems like it just kind of builds on itself. And, and unfortunately, uh, we carry that around with us and sometimes even on the road and uh, bad things can happen when that does happen. Yeah, it's a uh, stressful time of year for so many people. And uh, when you add that on to the stresses of holiday traffic and travel, then you end up in some uh, pretty precarious positions. And I know at Tobias McCormick and Comer, you guys have represented uh, many people in cases uh, that, that span you know, the variety of, of things that could happen when you're traveling. And I, I know you have some uh, information on car accidents, and we see plenty of those in the holiday season. It, it seems like in rural accidents that, that – those might not happen as often as some of the fender benders like we see on Airport Boulevard, for instance, but a lot of times they can end up being a lot more dangerous. Yeah, it, the statistics really show that, uh, uh, show that, that uh, while you're right, I mean, the frequency of wrecks, the, the number of wrecks happen more often when there's more people. Uh, the, uh, the sad truth is, is that uh, in a rural area, the the wrecks typically are more severe, and I and I'm sure that there are several things that go into that. Oftentimes, on rural roads, uh, you, you know, particularly at night, they're dark, mm-hmm. two lane roads, and and the margin of error is a lot smaller there. We actually had a case once uh, up near Alexander City uh, that was very tragic, where an 18 wheeler had broken down in the middle of the night on a two lane road, didn't have his flashers on, no lights illuminated, and unfortunately, our our uh, client came and, and hit him and died, mm. um, and and so you know the the margin of error is just so small. There's u- usually not a shoulder to pull off on, uh, and again with with the light, it's just really important to be mindful uh, and to be careful and and you know, drive slowly and make sure you arrive alive. Yeah. Uh, what are some tips you have for say someone is uh, preparing for either a long trip to go see grandma and grandpa, or maybe it's even just a uh, for us some of us a short trip across the bay. You have any tips for somebody who's really planning for a trip like that to kind of get ready? Yeah, sure. We actually uh, just spoke with um, Senior Trooper Peoples with the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency, and she had some really great tips. Uh, you can see all of them on our website okay. at tmclawyers.com. Uh, but there's some big ones that people can take into account. First of all, know where it is that you're going and plan your trip accordingly. Um you know, I, I'm guilty of this as as anybody, um, but make sure that when you actually get behind the wheel and you and you leave, make sure your gas your your mm. tank's full. Yeah. Um. You know, oftentimes, particularly as as I'm driving down, it always seems like it happens on Interstate 65. You see, hopefully, and usually this is the. 